some of the most important things in jump shooting is making sure that you get your knees bent and you allow yourself to get good lift on your jump shot. Follow through and hold your follow through. You want to shoot your jump shot the same way every time. So whether you're wide open in the corner or you're, you have a seven footer standing in your way, you should get lift on your jump shot every single time. That way it creates consistency. A simple drill that I do is, I call it uh, plus one minus two. And you can do it two different ways. You can run around the key, in, shot, or you can slide across the key, shot. Every make is one, every miss is minus two. So if you're working with a buddy or if you're working by yourself, two. you first one to 10 wins. And if you get to minus 10, then you're out. So just something simple and it works on your mid-raise game. In this next drill, you come off the screen. So what you do is you come to your curl here, you plant your left foot as you turn the corner and you explode up. Next thing you do is you slide right to the corner, shot. There you go. Take off and you do the same exact thing on the other side. And typically this is what us as shooters, what we do all the time is coming off screens, you get a shot right there, and you gotta learn to get the ball off quick. If my, my timing is off, um, if I'm holding on to the ball or I'm letting it go too soon, I come to the free throw line, whether it's in practice or I focus on in the games, to always get my foot, my body right, and go straight up and release. Whenever you feel like your shot is off, go to the free throw line and work on your free throws. Develop a routine, a rhythm, Focus on that rhythm and do it every day. And when you do it every day, free throws improve and then your shots can improve.